Celebrity endorsed skincare lines have been really popular for decades now. We've all seen a celebrity with perfectly airbrushed skin appear on some drugstore skincare commercial, knowing full well they probably don't actually use that product. For me, I can honestly say that the magic was proactive. But now celebrities are launching their own skincare lines in a completely different way. You aren't gonna see someone like Hailey Bieber or Alicia Keys doing a commercial for Neutrogena, but they do have their own skincare lines that have proven to actually be pretty successful for them. Hailey Bieber is literally known for her perfect skin. Everyone on TikTok is always asking her what she uses and her comment section is filled with people writing things like, girls don't want a boy. Girls want Hailey Bieber's skin. And it's true, she has been blessed with really great skin. So road skin does make a lot of sense for her. All her promo videos were shot using no airbrushing, no makeup, and she got a lot of praise for that. One person said, This is the first ad I see for a skincare company, and the model is not wearing makeup. Respect already. And another person wrote, this is the one celeb skincare brand I am actually excited to try. And people being genuinely excited for her brand is huge because normally when a celebrity releases a makeup line or a skincare line, people don't always have the best reaction. A lot of the time, it always feels like a quick cash grab. They've never expressed a public interest in cosmetics or skincare before, and you can just tell they had like zero input and let some company slap their name on crappy products. It's like Ariana with Rem Beauty. Love Ariana, but the makeup line was lacking and it never felt like she was truly into it. Now, when it comes to road skin, I personally haven't tried it because they still don't ship to Canada, but someone who has tried it is Morgan Adams. Morgan recently posted a video venting about how horrible road was for her skin and even showed pictures of the reaction she had to it. I want me to tell you about the worst skin product of all freaking time. I'm about to get annoyed so I have to move into a more peaceful area. Eventually I was able to buy the Barrier Restoring Cream and then this is the one that everyone graves about, the glazed donut, the peptide glazing thing. So I got these in the mail. I was so excited to try them because everyone was raving about Miss Hailey Bieber's skincare line. Okay, now that I have emotionally recovered from this, I will show you pictures of what Hailey Bieber's skincare line did to my skin. It did not make me a glowy, ooey, gooey glazed donut. It gave me skin rashes that bled for days and days and days and days, and it took an entire month for my face to feel normal again. I would have been better off rubbing straight bleach on my face. So if you're wondering if you should go through the hassle of buying Road Beauty, don't. Okay, if you've ever listened to anything that I've ever said in my entire life, don't. A lot of people in her comments are saying how happy they are that she was honest about it, so they didn't go out and waste their money on something that was causing people to break out. But at the same time, other people were saying that just because it didn't work for her doesn't mean it's necessarily a bad product. I decided to look up a few reviews to see if Morgan was one of the only people experiencing this, and there's actually a lot of people who seem to have the same experience as Morgan. One person wrote, skin concern, road skin allergic reaction. And as you guys can see from the picture, it looks really similar to what Morgan was experiencing. And one person replied to them and said, I broke out quite badly after using it as well. Seeing all the raving reviews, I decided to still give it a try. Two days later, I hadn't broken out like that in years. And another person replied to them and said, oh my God, girl, same with my sister. Now she's visiting a dermatologist. Another person said, this is why y'all should stay away from these weird celeb skincare lines. Haley's line is just about hype, nothing special. Another person said, I saw a couple of ads on the brand and bought a product too. It was horrid. It made me break out on areas of my face that don't usually break out. One of the worst brands I've tried. So if all of these people are having the same issue, is it truly just them having sensitive skin or is something wrong with the product? When Kylie came out with Kylie's skin, most people kind of understood that it would most likely be crap. It didn't have the best ingredients, it was really basic skincare, and a lot of people were having reactions. With Hailey though, her ingredients seemed far more advanced and targeted a more mature audience compared to Kylie's skin which felt really pre-teenish. Of course, when you're using any skincare product, you never know how your skin is gonna react. One product could be life-changing for one person and it could make another person completely break out. 
It doesn't necessarily mean that it's a bad product, but if a lot of people are having the same results, I personally would probably stay away. Another influencer that's once again coming out with a skincare line and dealing with some backlash as well is Trisha Paytas. We already talked about this last week, but Trisha has been really outspoken these past few days about how great her products are and how everyone who said anything negative is just hating on her because it's her. The reason the skincare ended, and I'll probably repeat this a thousand times when it launches, is like she was getting so much harassment. I was, of course, and I'm like used to it, but like she wasn't. She's like the small, uh, small business out of LA, like makes everything in LA, like really good has been around for years like really good and the thing is um, like the trolls right why would you bring this back like it was such a flop no it was a flop the first time because there was a lot of like false um like the people who said there was like they're, they got a chemical peel like i remember like nbc news business insider all these people were gonna write a story about it and then they didn't because there was no merit to it and even we looked at we're like okay send us a receipt uh my friend bought it for me okay what was your friend's name? Um, oh, my friend died. Like it was, it was that, and it happened like multiple times. And it's fine. Like if someone wants to do an honest review of the skincare, totally fine. But what I know, what I know is that it works because it's stuff that I actually use. So like when I got the opportunity, and she's like, "Would you want to do like a skincare line um, with the products you use?" Because like it works for my sister who has different skin than me. It works for my mom. It works for like. It works, and it's like I've gone to her since like the pandemic, 2020, when my skin was like really, really bad. And if it didn't work, I wouldn't put it out. You know what I mean? Like, of course I'm like, I would know to, like that it would get bad reviews if it wasn't good. You know what I mean? Like, of course, especially cause it's me. Everyone's gonna be way harder on me. So it has to be good, right? It has to be good. As you guys know, someone claimed to have used Trisha's skincare products and came out and claimed that they got a chemical burn from them. Trisha and the owner of Glow Skin Enhancement both said that this girl isn't in any of their receipts and they have no confirmation that she actually bought anything. So I mean, we don't really know what's true. The burn that the girl had did look pretty bad, but at the end of the day, that was when Trisha was going through a lot of drama. Of course someone could have said, hey, Trisha's skincare caused me this burn when it actually didn't. There's just something about an influencer skincare line that seems even worse to me than a celebrity one. Trisha has been very open about all the expensive chemical peels that she gets and all these special treatments, so I don't think she can say her skin is 100% due to Trish skin. Anyways guys, let me know what you think about everything down below. Have you guys tried Road Skin or any other celebrity slash influencer skincare line? And if you have, did you love or hate it? Or are you like me and have decided to stay far, far away from all of them? Let me know and I'll see you next time.